Intel says that they're about to have their AMD Zen moment, or three of them. If you're about to buy some SSDs or hard drives, beware! Chia might be coming for you. And Apple looks to be turning to risk five. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I could find on the internet, which admittedly is a little dry, especially because yesterday was Labor Day. So there wasn't a whole lot of things that were being published. Funny how that works when people take off of work, there's no news to be reported because companies aren't actually doing anything. So take that for what you will. We're gonna talk about what I could find out on the interrupts while you enjoy your breakfast. Sit back, relax, and Intel saying that they'll have three major AMD Zen-like moments with their architectural announcement that's, that are supposed to be coming out sometime soon. This is coming out in an interview with Intel CEO and CFO talking about their strategy with x86 consumer and server environments and everything that they currently have going on. The CEO of Intel saying they have three key innovations that AMD has no answer for and is gonna lead to their Zen-like moment saying that AMD has nothing like what Intel has right now and it's a pretty big deal and they also have a pretty dramatic step forward and that's well beyond anything that was talked about yet when it comes to their chips. So you better be on the lookout. They have plans to be AMD. They're not gonna tell you, but they're there, all right? Step one, trademark a bunch of Cove and Lake names. Step two, step three, profit. So the CEO is saying that we are rolling out the heterogeneous architecture that is part of Alder Lake where we have big and little cores. You know AMD only has one? <laughs> I'm sure he didn't say it with that sort of inflection. That's just my color commentary on there. We have our GPU architecture. We're gonna start being in a position to really put pressure on Nvidia for the first time ever. And we're laying out our IPU architecture when we get to our smart NICs and smart networking fabrics. So three major architectural announcements this week that we think are pretty Zen-like. What does that even mean? I just, as a consumer and as somebody on just the outside of what's going on, that seems like a really back foot statement by Intel from a company that refused to acknowledge that AMD had any presence in the market, then to a company that admitted that AMD, you know, was a legitimate competitor, now saying that they're aspiring to have AMD's moments with their Intel chips, like, I, I believe in the direction that the CEO is taking Intel and it does seem like they are actually getting things moving forward. Architectures are actually now improving. They're getting their seven nanometer and beyond on track. It looks to be something like a ship that's being corrected, but at the same time, you're comparing yourself to a moment that your competitor had four years ago and you're saying that's your forward thinking statement? Like it, it just feels, I guess maybe you were answering the interviewer's question of will there be a Zen moment for Intel, but it also like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm used to the game of politics being answered in these questions where you don't necessarily deflect to the fact that your competitor is doing amazingly, but there's a much better way to indicate that Intel is aiming for something beyond what AMD already has out there because this just makes it seem like, hey, we're really trying to be like AMD. We're gonna be Zen-like. It's gonna be amazing, which like, to be fair, Alder Lake not really inspiring a whole lot of people based on the leaks that are coming out of of the actual performance. Maybe there's some stuff that remains to be seen, which we can hold out for, but saying that AMD only, only has one where we're rolling out the heterogeneous architecture. AMD, AMD only has one, my friends. But back when Ryzen was launching, the Zen architecture, number one, there was hype. Number two, there were actually benchmarks to back it up even before the launch of the chips. And number three, they did deliver on it. And none of that seems to be the indication of Intel right now. Maybe they will deliver on it, but pre-release stuff doesn't seem to be looking good. In fact, it's actually really confusing how you're gonna need to potentially upgrade to it. And it's just, it doesn't feel right. What do you think of Intel statements in their Zen-like moment? What do you think of their statements of putting the pressure on it in video? I wanna hear from you down below. He also continued to make comments on how they're competing with AMD, just saying that we just say about the AMD threat, you know we got to do better products, period. So we gonna build that has to be a typo. So we gonna build better products and they had a period we haven't executed well. We're gonna execute, 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 which is just, again, such a back foot statement. AMD made it far because we screwed up. So now we're not, we're gonna learn how not to screw up and we're gonna have their moment in the sun in our next moment where we release the things that we said we were gonna release ages ago and they're gonna be better than everybody's talking about because we're gonna win because we're Intel and it's execute, execute, it just, I don't know. 
Am I being too hard on this? Am I overanalyzing the words that are going into here? Am I just like missing the point? Should I be more excited for Intel's next generation stuff? I just feel placated by what Intel has out there right now. It's good enough. I don't feel like what's coming next is gonna be revolutionary. Maybe he's talking about it as like a stepping stone to the next architecture because Zen was good, but Zen 2 and then Zen 3 was even better. Maybe that's what we're expecting from Intel. The Zen-like moment isn't the pivotal change where they're actually now going to be starting to compete, but rather three, four, five years down the line is when we're actually gonna see what the true potential of Intel is, sort of like now, how we're seeing with Zen 3 and potentially Zen 4, what the true potential of the original Zen architecture was. Is that right? Let me know what you think down below in the comments, Intel's comments on AMD and their Zen-like moment. And now time is the moment for how now talk crypto stonks, brown cow. <laughs> Bitcoin up 1.56% to be at $52,500. Ethereum down half a percent to be at $3,904. Dogecoin down 1.4% to be at 30 cents. Meme stonks didn't go anywhere because Labor Day was a public holiday in the US. So they're sitting at where they were when I talked about it in yesterday's episode of Hot News. But let's talk about a little bit more crypto stuff because in case you haven't heard us talk about the cryptocurrency that's known as Chia, we've covered it in episodes of Hot News months ago back when it originally launched. And it does seem like there's now a lot of fallout from this because the value of Chia has fallen roughly 80% in the last few months. This then seems to be leading to a sell-off of SSDs and hard drives that have been used to plot Chia, which in case you're not familiar with, uses a lot of written data to these drives in order to plot the cryptocurrency, which is similar to mining on a GPU, and it wears out the devices really quickly. A one terabyte SSD can be worn out in as little as 80 days when it's plotting Chia, so that effectively gets it in like a like new or very good condition if you're selling it privately after the fact, especially if you're just selling it as a drive. So it does appear like there's a lot of SSDs and hard drives that are hitting the market that have been plotted with on Chia that could potentially die sometime soon. It does seem to be that this is taking part majorly in the Asia and China markets because that's where the drives were primarily being picked up, but it's something to be aware of just because the drive appears to be brand new, like new condition if it's been open and returned to even say, let's say somebody bought an SSD on Best Buy. Well, within a 45 day return period, they could actually have used the vast majority of an SSD's lifespan and still return it to Best Buy where they resell it as an open box device where you think it's totally fine, but in fact, it's had the crap kicked out of it. Just something to be aware of my friends. And it's also something to be aware of if you wanted to pick up or did pick up Lian Lee's SL120 Uni fans because there is a replacement now going on because of some blue light defects that are happening where it makes the blue lights appear dim, which gives it a yellow cap especially when you're using a white light, Lian Lee Lee acknowledging the issue, good job. Lee and Lee, that's what a good company should do. And then you can also get replacements as well if you contact them using their standard warranty claim. So good job, Lee and Lee, owning up to it and providing a method for consumers to actually get it righted. And is Apple trying to get their ship righted before the NVIDIA ARM takeover happens? Maybe, maybe not. There's a new job posting by Apple looking for Risk Five high performance programmers, which in the article that I'm pulling this from does seem to indicate that this could potentially be a forward thinking move by Apple to get to the RISC-V architecture with start getting engineers working on that, especially with the fact that NVIDIA might merge with ARM sometime soon, which would then make their transition to Apple Silicon kind of moot at some point, especially if NVIDIA starts to exercise higher pricing or starting to exercise exclusivity rights and makes it so that they push Apple out of the game entirely, they might want to consider using RISC-V for their processors moving forward. However, it should be noted that this job posting specifically is for machine vision slash AI on a chip subsystem. So this is not necessarily something that they're developing when it comes to switching off of Apple Silicon with the ARM architecture. This would be something else that they're developing entirely. However, the posit is that Apple might be just using this to test the water, seeing if they could potentially get into it. Do you think Apple should keep its options open, especially with Nvidia looking to take over ARM? Let me know down below in the comments. And do you think you should say goodbye to the GTX 700 series? Because I think you do, and you should totally go check out yesterday's episode of Hot News where we detailed NVIDIA getting rid of a popular series of GPUs. And I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast, my friends. Cheerios.